Hi and welcome to episode 14 of Travelling Europe with Molly and Dries. In this episode we travel along the southern French coast past Montpellier to our next Airbnb located in Istres just west of Marseille. Bonjour guys, uh, we just stopped outside Montpellier, just need to fill up on the old diesel and then we're going to be heading to our Airbnb in Istres, uh, just outside Marseille. So yeah, we had a little bit of a nightmare this morning, um, we had to have a sticker basically to enter the low emission zones in some of the cities and we didn't realise this until today. Can you buy a sticker? Anywhere? No. You have to order them online and they take 10 days. Which wasn't ideal. Basically we bought one, luckily no one stopped us. If we get a fine, we get a fine. Now we're going to Istres. I've always just gone in to get grab a quick burger from McDonald's. And yeah, we'll catch up with you in the next uh, Airbnb. See you then. After paying through our noses for a toll, we arrived in Istres, thankfully avoiding the low emission police. We arrived at the Airbnb and were quite shocked, but not in a good way, um, more on that later. Located just around the corner of our apartment was a lake and a park, so we made the most of the weather and walked around, enjoying the art zoo display that was on. We then went to a supermarket and bought some microwave meals for the night. On day 43, we used all trails again to seek a nice walk. We found one 36 minutes drive south from Istres that took us along the coast and around in a nice little 8 km circle. On the drive back from our walk, we noticed a farmer's market and decided to stop for a treat after our long walk. Out of ten. So I was hoping for some like creamy chocolatey gelato. Um, but yeah, there's a market going on. I'm not quite sure where we are. We've been for a walk and we're on the way back and we stopped in this market and I really fancied an ice cream chocolatey gelato but they only had sorbet. So I went for a strawberry sorbet. It's very refreshing, very nice. Not quite what I was looking for, but yeah, it's solid five out of ten. <laughs> I don't know who decided to film next to the windiest lake in the world, but here is my review. Hey guys, just been to a local French market. I grabbed myself a sugar crap. Nice, warm, lots of sugar, which is good. It's a little bit not burnt but overdone for my liking. 6.5 out of 10. The next morning I woke up early to start training after impulsively signing up for a 27 km mountain race with 1200 meters of elevation that was a month away. Pre-run meal sorted, it was time to put the pumps on. Transition in the whole world. Molly and trees. I warmed up outside the flat. Warm up done, I headed to the park where they had some hills and also a dinosaur exhibition.
four kilometers and a few hill reps later and I was done. Only a month until the race and it felt much harder than I had hoped. Ooh. After the run, it was haircuts time. Morning guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm on the way to get a haircut again. As you can see, I tried to grow it out. I wanted to maybe try and grow my hair. Never done it before. Good opportunity to do it, you know. But uh, it just looks terrible, let's be honest. It just looks messy, overgrown. Um, so I was gonna have a haircut because we're going to somewhere nice in two days. So yeah, wish me luck. Rate the haircuts out of 10 in the comments, guys. And please don't hold back. It was time we left the Airbnb and typical, I forgot to take a video of the inside. It was so bad that we just wanted to get out ASAP. It was basically a, a tiny room. Granted, we didn't pay much for it, but the place was dirty. It smelled of cigarettes and just wasn't comfortable. Would not recommend. We left for our next stop, Nice. Come back next time to see if Nice really is nice. Until then, goodbye.